Welcome to this tutorial lecture regarding strategic management. This is our second lecture. We are going to cover some important topics regarding strategic management. So let's proceed. In this lecture, we are going to talk about the strategic management process, the components of strategic management process, which are environmental scanning, strategy formulation, strategy implementation, strategy evaluation, and strategic control. So let's begin first from what is strategic management process. Each time we are discussing a topic regarding the strategic management, so the word strategic management comes first and we have to understand that what is a strategic management. So the word or the term strategic management is used to show a branch of management that is concerned or related with the development of strategic vision. Each organization must develop a strategic vision setting out the objectives the organization must set some objectives the long and short term objectives and goals of the organization which the organization wants to achieve formulating and implementing strategies organizations have to formulate and implement strategies because of the changing environment both internally and externally the environment where the business organizations are operating, they are not constant, they are changing. Changes may happen internally or externally. The organization and the managers, they have to adopt some sort of strategies which can deal with the changes internally and externally in a better way and gives the organization a competitive advantage. Moving on to the strategic management process. In strategic management process, some of the most important steps are there. Number one, environmental scanning, strategy formulation, strategy implementation, and strategy evaluation. But what is a strategic management process by itself? The process of strategic management includes the steps which we mentioned before. The manager should take these steps in order to create a comprehensive strategy. A strategy which can help the organization to gain competitive advantage and also help the organization to develop and grow the business and as well meet the competition. As we all know, dear students, that these days the markets in the businesses are very complex. The competition is on a high side. So the manager should develop a strategy which can grow the business, which can meet the competition because businesses are very complex. If businesses they want to survive so they must have a strategic planning they must have the better strategies as compared to the competitors the manager should create and formulate such, such a strategy which can give a competitive advantage a core value to the firms and the manager should implement the strategy in a way that the company can achieve its goals the desired states and the objectives that they have set for themselves each and every step in this process should be implemented in a careful way, in a better way, right? So if the steps are implemented in a better way, the success of the organization is guaranteed. As well, the managers should help all the employees in all the stuff that this process is implemented in a better and comprehensive way. If the managers are successful to implement the strategic management process in a better way, so it will help everybody inside the organizations to coordinate, understand the goals and objectives of the strategy and also the goals and objectives of the organization and they will be able to use the resources of the organization in a better way which can help them to attain the goals of the organization. In the strategic management process, the first step or the first component that is environmental scanning. So what is an environmental scanning? Environmental scanning includes the study of internal and external environment of the business where the business operates. The managers, they should collect, study and get information from inside and outside of the organization which helps the organization to formulate and implement their strategy. As you see on screen, environmental scanning refers to the process of collecting, inspecting and providing information for strategic purpose. It helps in analyzing the information which we get from internal environment and also from the external environment. It helps the managers to make their strategies, to formulate their strategies. And also studying those informations, 
give the businesses their weaknesses and also their strengths, which will be discussed after some time about the internal and external factors of the organization. In other words, we can say that environmental scanning means monitoring. Monitoring the in inside environment or internal environment of the business and also the external environment of the business. Evaluating, seeing or assessing the environments that where are the opportunities for the business, where are the threats for the business in order to be overcome and also distributing the information. The information which we get from the internal environment and external environment should be given to the top level management for making the decisions regarding the corporate level strategies, business level strategies and functional level strategies. The study of internal and external environment of the business is very much important for all the managers because the internal and external environments of the business, they are capable, they have the ability to force and push an organization for change. Change in the objectives of the organization, change in the goals of the organization, change in organizational structure, change in, in any sort of strategy that the organization is planning. For example, if we just give an example in marketing, an organization is having a scamming policy for its products. So if there is a competition, a price war in markets, so automatically studying that environment, the business know that if they are not bringing their prices down, so automatically they are going to lose their customers. So the external force or the external factors, they are directly or indirectly affecting or forcing the organization to bring changes. So as we know that there are two types of environment which the businesses are dealing with. Number one, the internal environment of the business. Number second, the external environment of the business. The number of the business the internal environment, the business related to the management related to the employees related to the resources the policies of the organization in etc external environment ke mohit e kharji az yak business wa company me boshat dar mohit ke customers maujood as dar mohit ke competitors maujood as dar mohit ke laws regularity agencies maujood me bosha wa dar mohit ke suppliers maujood me bosha all these forces in all these factors they have direct or indirect effect on the business so the businesses for better and uh, for better uh, achieving their goals and also for gaining competitive advantage agar me khoyan company ha wa tajarat ha ki muwafaq bashan wa kamyab bashan hamesha baat as internal environment khud wa as external environment khud ba khabar basha let's discuss that what is the internal environment of the business and also what is the external environment of the business at first the managers or the businesses, they should study their internal environment. The internal environment of a business includes employees, managers, top level managers, resources, structure of the organization, the internal environment analysis will definitely help the organization and the businesses to identify its weaknesses and strengths. Once the company come to know about the strengths and about the weaknesses of itself, so then they can better understand that what sort of strategies should be implemented. Zamani ki company dar maurede quat wa kamzuriyay dakhili edari khud faham hasil kana wa bafama. Ya me tana ke u kamzuriyay ki yadara u ra khatam kana wa the external environment ki kudam opportunities bar zya maujud astan u ra hasil kana. کمزوریای خود در داخل ای اداره ختم کنه و ترتس خطراتی که در اکسترنل انوارمنت داره او رو به شکل خوب میتونه مدیریت کنه. And also, the study of internal environment will help the organization to learn and understand about their strengths. در مورد قوت خود میفهمه که اداره از کدام لحاظ قوت داره. آیا یا better employees داره یا they have the better resources یا they have the better plannings. So what are their strengths? They can use their strength in order to achieve their goals, in order to, to gain those opportunities uh, in the external environment and also avoid the threats which are causing problem to the organization. Companies can study and also they can gain information about their internal environment by using various tools like SWOT analysis, techniques, 
We can use it to study the internal environment of the organization, like tools metrics, which can help the organization to gain and also get information about the internal environment, like we have IE metrics. So all these analytical tools or frameworks will be discussed in coming lectures in details. The next option and the next thing that the manager should do that's studying the external environment of the business. What is the external environment? The environment which is not basically in control of the business, which lays or which exists outside of the organization and there are some forces which can cause challenges for the organization. External analysis is the study of business environment. Mazamonike Mohiti Khariji as yak idarara tahlil mekanim yak mohiti ki darunja idara operate mekana. Umuhit darumuhit competitors me bosha, the umuhit customers me bosha, the umuhit suppliers me bosha. And we have to have uh, information about them because of what? That who are our competitors? What are they doing? What are their strategies? What, what are their competitive advantages? So we have to know and we have to have information about these uh, factors and then we can formulate our own strategy. And also we should know about the customers in the external environment, that who are our customers and who can we target them, and also why we are losing the customers or why we are gaining the customers. It means what are our weaknesses that the customers are deviating or going away from us. And if we are gaining more customers and we are gaining more market shares, so what are our strengths? We need to understand in order to maintain that. The study of external environment also gives us the chance. If we have external environment business, we have to look at the business. If we have to look at the competitors, we have to look at the competitors that are newly in the industry. The industry is the most اگر کمپیٹیٹرز نیولی زیاد انٹر میں شاید انڈسٹری سو انڈسٹری ان اٹریکٹیف میں شاید وی ہاف ٹو ٹائپس آف انڈسٹری اٹریکٹیف انڈسٹری ان ان اٹریکٹیف انڈسٹری دی انڈسٹری ویچ از اٹریکٹیف ایٹ مینز دیر از ا گڈ انکم فور دی ارگنائزیشن این آلسو دی کمپیٹیشن لیول از ناٹ ایز ہائی سو وین ایور مور ان مور کمپیٹیٹرز آر انٹرنگ یور انڈسٹری سو آٹومیٹکلی ایٹ از کازنگ دی پرابلم ٹو دی ارگنائزیشن in order to bring changes or in order to bring innovations, lowering the price because of what? Well, there are many competitors and there are less customers, so automatically a price war is created. So while the company is lowering the price, agar ya company khimat khada ya khimat hai khada payan mimara, so automatically the company is losing. Why industry unattractive industry measure? So managers by the external environment khada matalya kana. وی رو باید بفهم که چی قسم میتونن که دیگه کمپیتیترز در این اندستری انتر نشوه برای بریئرز جور کنن برای مانه جور کنن مانه میتونه به هر نوه شوه یا در پرادکت خود انویشنز میاره همیشه یا پرایزز یا کیستن به اون لیول استن که دیگه کمپیتیترز نمیتونه که پرایز سیت کنن سو دیر جس این او لیک هفنگ ای کاست لیدرشپ او دیر لیک هفنگ ای دیورسیفیکیشن سترادیجیز The cost of materials used to manufacture your products or the regularity framework set out by the governments. These are all examples or variables which are out of your organization's control. So, every change and change in the law, or the changes in the law, or the changes in the law, will have a lot of business. Or the price of the materials, or the price of the supplier, will not be controlled by the management. These are all the factors that the government will have a lot of business. Moving on uh, to our next stage, that's the strategy formulation stage. So strategy formulation comes in second. After we get the information from the internal and external environment by scanning both environments, by using different tools and techniques in getting information from inside and outside, knowing about the weaknesses, the strength of the businesses, the opportunities and threats of the businesses. Now the managers are uh, in a position to formulate a strategy. So now, what is a strategy formulation? Let's discuss that. Strategy formulation is a stage or a marhali as then that the inja managers, your top level managers, they are defining the mission, the vision statement of the firm, and as well they are setting goals. Your question, ahdafi idarara, ki wa ahdaf long term wa short term ahdaf me basha urata in mekana ki ubaid achieve shawa, and also the managers take initiatives and make some decisions. 
ده اینجا که استن یه اقدامات میکنه و فیصله و تصمیم میگیره که چی نوه او اهداف حاصل شوه او میجن و ویژنز حاصل شوه and they are just, just formulating the strategies it means they are setting the, the, the course of actions باید actions یا باید عمل کرده انجام داده شوه تا که objectives یک 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 business organization با شکل و شوی خوب اچیف شوه In this stage, whenever the managers they are selecting a course of action, yani ya action ha wa amal kard hai rakhe intikhab mekna ba khatre achieve kardan ya ba dast aardan ahdaf vision mission ni idara, u course of action byt based on your available resources baja. It means it's important for the managers, iba managers bi sar muhimas ki available resources a madin nazar bi kira wa ba asas zu strategy khuda formulate kena. So then, it will have the chance to succeed. It says that strategy formulation is the process of deciding best course of action. It means there are available courses of actions, there are available procedures and ways that you can achieve your goals, but you're going to select the best one based on your available resources. Organizational, accomplishing organizational objectives and hence achieving organizational purpose. After conducting environmental scanning, خب بعد از که ما environmental scanning کنداخت کردیم، ما را انجام دادیم، در مورد internal و external environment خود معلومات گرفتیم. Managers formulate strategies. Managers strategy را باید formulate کنن. کی strategy سه لیVEL می تونه با خود بیگرا. Corporate level strategy می باشه. That inshallah in coming lectures we will discuss in details what is a corporate level strategy. Corporate level strategy با تمامی business set می شه. بزنس لیول سٹریجی میں بوشا کہ بھائی یہ گینٹ میں بوشا فور ایکزامپل انسائیت دا ارگنیزیشن دیر آر ویریس دپارٹمنٹس لائک مارکٹنگ فائننس پروڈکشن سیلز ان ای ٹی سی ناو ان جنرل اف دا ارگنیزیشن اس سیٹنگ اے سٹریجی فور ہول ارگنیزیشن دس اس کال اے کارپوریٹ لیول سٹریجی لیکن اگر اے دارا میں خواہ کہ با یک بزنس یونٹ یک سٹریجی جور کنا سو دس بزنس یونٹ دس اس کال لائک اے بزنس سٹریجی لیکن اگر ادارہ میں خواہ کہ در یک فنشنل لیول یک سٹریجی رو جور میکنا مثال دا مارکیٹنگ وی وانٹ تو ہاو یو نو لائک اے ڈیفرنٹ سٹریجی آنلی فور وارٹ فور دا مارکیٹنگ ڈپارٹمنٹ سو دس اس کال لائک اے فنشنل سٹریجی انشاءاللہ دیس تری لیولز آف سٹریجی ویل بی ڈسکس ان کمنگ کلاسز ان ڈیٹیلز دا پروسس آف ڈیویلپنگ لانگ رینج پلانز So in strategy formulation, زمانی که ما goals, objectives خود انتخاب میکنیم resources, available resources use میکنیم و از environmental study بر ما معلوماتی که آمده So we're using that information, the available resources and also the actions and plans in order to achieve the opportunities in order to gain the opportunities we have in the external markets in the threats و خطراتی که بر ما مواجه است با business مواجه استن او را ما می توانیم که از بین ببریم با اصاسی best strategies in plan next stage alright so in strategy formulation we have you know some components in these are the components mission in strategy formulation the managers they should define the mission statement the vision statements and also the objectives of the business that what they want to achieve the strategies there are lots of strategies so which strategy the manager is going to adopt and use for achieving the goals in the policies, the guidelines, ways, and defined directions. How we're going to achieve the goals, what are the ways, what are the guidelines, and what are the directions in which the employees should work. Following the strategy implementation, this is the next stage where the managers they are going to implement the strategy. In this stage, the organization or the managers, they are putting the chosen strategy into action. قبل ان ما دا strategy formulation discuss کریں کہ باید ادارہ strategy را formulate کنا او یک stage theoretical میں باشا کہ on paper ما پلان خدا جور میں کنیں لیکن in strategy implementation stage this is the stage which we also call like the action plan this is the stage where we call it like the action stage دی وقت کیا سما action یا عمل کرد خدا practically یا عملا انجام میں دیم strategy implementation implies the lalat bai me kena making the strategy work strategy ke maud jor kadim u baid bhoj shakal tadbik shawa chizi ke edara plan karda chizi ke edara 
انٹینشن یا ارادہ دورہ وہ چیز ہے کہ ارادہ ایک ادارہ انتخاب کرنا کیوں رہا بائیت اچیف کرنا سو دس ٹریٹیجی شوڈ اچیف اور ٹارگیٹس اوکی پوٹنگ دس ارگنیزیشن چوزن سٹریٹیجی انٹو ایکشن سٹریٹیجی امپلیمنٹیشن انکلوڈس ڈیزائننگ دس ارگنیزیشن سٹرکچر اوکی ان دس سٹیج جنو وی ارگن تو ڈیزائن دس ارگنیزیشن سٹرکچر ات مینز دیٹس انسائد دس ارگنیزیشن وی ہیو the working structure or the operational structures that everybody's job, everybody's uh, uh, responsibilities uh, should be assigned, distributing resources that who are responsible for what. So we should, uh, or the manager should, they are distributing the resources according to the jobs and responsibilities of the employees, developing decision-making process. So here, the managers, they are making decisions regarding Uh, the implementing or implementation of the strategy and also uh, managing the human resource. The organization can put strategies in, into action by developing the following points. Number one, programs. What is program? Statements of activities or steps needed to accomplish a single plan. Statements of activities. It means, for that how you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, کہ کدام فعالیت ہاست کیوں رہا ما انجام میتیم تاکہ ما اہداف خدا مشن و وشن خدا و اوبجیکٹیوز خدا حاصل کریں بجٹس سو ایٹ ٹاکس اباؤٹ دی ریسورسز سو وٹ آر دی ریسورسز ایٹ شڈ بی مینشن ایٹ شڈ بی کنسیڈرڈ بائی دی مینجمنٹ پروسیجرز سو پروسیجر ٹاکس اباؤٹ دی سیکوینشل اسٹیپس ای تمام یہ مرحلہ ترتیبی رہ بر مانشان میتا تمام تخنیکار بر مانشان میتا بشکل منظم کہ ما پلان خدا تدبیق میکنیم یا ما سٹریٹیجی خدا تدبیق میکنیم سو سٹیٹمنٹس آف سیکوینشل سٹیپس اور ٹیکنیکس دیٹ ڈسکرائب ان ڈیٹیل ہاؤ ٹو پرفارم پرٹیکولر ٹاسک اور جابس بہ ہر فعالیت و بہ ہر کار و بہ ہر کس پروسیجر معلوم است کہ کار خدا باید به کدام شکل پیش ببرن اکارڈنگ ٹو دا گائڈ لائنس ان اکارڈنگ ٹو دا پالیسیز آف دا آرگنائزیشن ان دا نیکسٹ اسٹیپ وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا سٹریٹیجی ایوالویشن یہ مرحلہ ہے اس دن کہ دین جب باید سٹریٹیجی ایوالویٹ شوا ارزیابی شوا بعد ازی کہ ما سٹریٹیجی را تدبیق کر دیم سو وی ہیو ٹو ایوالویٹ دا سٹریٹیجی ان دس سٹیج وی ہیو ٹو پوائنٹس ون بفور وی امپلیمنٹ دا سٹریٹیجی قبل ازی کہ ما سٹریٹیجی خدا امپلیمنٹ میں کر دیم ارگنائزیشن بخود یک ڈیزائر سٹیج انتخاب میں کر می خواستن کہ با اساس تدبیق کر دنی یہ سٹریٹیجی باید بہت سٹیج برا سا سو ناؤ بعد ازی کہ سٹریٹیجی تدبیق شد ما دا کدام جائے قرار داریم او بر ما یک ایکچول سٹیج میں شد سو ان دس سٹیج وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ایوالویٹ دا سٹریٹیجی سٹریٹیجی را کہ ما انتخاب کرده بودیم او را تدبیق کردیم آیا ما را با ڈیزائر سٹیج بورده یا نه ای را ما چه قسم می فاویم ما او را امرای ایکچول سٹیج که فعلا ما دا او قرار داریم ما امرای زورا کمپیر می کنیم با دس کمپیرسن بر ما معلومات می شد که آیا سٹریٹیجی ما موافق بود یا نبود It is the primary means to know in why particular strategies are not working well. particular strategies It is the process in which corporate activities in performance results are mentioned. In this stage, we have generally performance in business is at a level. At the actual level, we compare the desire level. The last stage that is strategic control. In this step, organizations determine to control. Control means what? For example, if our strategy is moving in the right way, that's good. But if the strategy is not accomplishing or not achieving the goals which are set by the organization, so by measuring the performances, we can compare the actual performances to fail and us, we can compare performances to the desired The standards, معیار که ما انتخاب کرده بودیم آیا او معیار حاصل شده یا نشده if not so what are the reasons کدام علتا است و دلیل است دن که ما از از پلان خود دیویئیت کردیم and finally taking corrective actions یو وقت است دن که پس اداره باید تصمیم بگیره و عمل کرده خود تغییر بده the policies خود باید تغییر بیاره important steps in strategy evaluation and control are following evaluate ما باید strategy خود باید از تدبیق evaluate کنیم monitor باید او را به شکل دوامدار مراقبت کنیم control if there is a problem so we have to control that and then change bring change in strategy and move on thank you very much for listening the lecture